Good morning guys from Mallorca, you guessed it from the title, we are still in Mallorca. <laughs> if you watched vlog number one, go and watch that now. But to give you some background and some context, our flights were cancelled. I'm blaming Emily, I'm here with my friend Emily. Where's she gone? I love it when Not you just any friend. Me, you, you key me like in, it's my best time. friend. No, we're stranded in a Valerix. If you were stranded on a desert island, what would you take? Honestly, yeah, comment, let me know. I used to always say mascara. I so wouldn't even care about mascara anymore. Would you? I would take SPF. Ugh. I would take, like, lip balm, Actually, maybe. but if I'm going to be oh, stuck forever, then what's the point? Anyway, sorry, back to what we were telling you. We're here. It means that we get to extend our trip. Like, well, we have to. We have no other choice. There are no other flights until the 31st of August. They did try to get us on one on September the 2nd, which is kind yeah, of crazy. What? Oh yeah, I said absolutely no. There's just no flights. So what happened, is, actually that's weird. The guy was so helpful from he was British amazing. Airways. Basically we've been told no. So we called up again and he was really helpful. And he was like 2nd of September. I was like, are you sure? Someone did tell us that there was another one. And he looked again. He was like, oh my goodness, no, no, no I can sort this one. And he literally changed our bookings from separate bookings, put us on yes, together. Yes, because Emily puts on different flights. Moral of the story, a flight will get cancelled. Both of you, both of our flights got cancelled. But as soon as he said he was going to put us on one booking, I was like, thank you. He was like, I just don't want you to get separated. And I was like, oh. So guess what? We're now in the privileged position that we are literally stranded without a flight at home for a few days, which means we get to enjoy more of Mallorca together. It, although it's an honor. we've had to, we've, it's a we've spent the last hour reorganizing well, everything. A few hours actually. We've been doing this since like 9 a.m. And it stopped raining now. No, it's in, I passed. mean, it's in our work plans. Oh, at home. Work plans. oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Not to mention the work plans, because I mean, it, we're in a privileged position that we can like rearrange work plans and that we can stay here for another few days. Yeah. However, it was not the original plan, but we are going to make the most of it because fate has a funny way of telling us that things have to happen. Yeah. Emily thinks that it's the universe telling us we have to stay here for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm I gonna think, go and find an apartment. I think it's the universe telling me that I shouldn't have gone that flight. Well, I'm thinking of the positives, like we should stay on the hot So island, we should stay, so. we should have an amazing time, we should explore, go do the things we didn't have the time to do before, and just rebalance and enjoy. So, we're going to start with a hot girl walk. Now the rain has finally stopped, there's been some crazy storms here, um, which I think is probably something to do with the air, and obviously you don't want to fly when things aren't safe anyway. So we're going to go and take this weather whilst it's sunny, and go on a hot girl walk. We've got a lock in on our hands. We've just received a note. Due to the bad weather, it's recommended not to leave the hotel from 7 p.m. Oh my goodness. Let's get snacks. No, it's artichoke. Sorry, it's an artichoke. And she recommended this. I don't know what it is, but it has an egg on it, and I love egg. Chocolate haul. It's so sad. It's been literally crazy. Hey, what books have you got? <laughs> so I books. can offer you a milka with white in oh, the Oh, I've never seen this. <gasps> Where did you get these from? Milka. The spa. Oh, I need to go tomorrow. I, I can want offer these. you a Nestle jungly white. Oh my goodness, no, not by the Unless I'm jungly dark, I can offer you any kind of milk you would like. The real question is can I get these back to London without them snapping? I think no, but I will try my absolute Good morning. Thing. We are here. We are still, <laughs> we're still here. We were meant to. Last night we both got into bed and we were like, oh, we were meant to be at home tonight. Yeah. But guess what? I have a hair mask on. We didn't do much last night, in all honesty. We did have dinner, which was delicious, but we, we, were, we made some friends. Yeah. It was so nice. But we were actually told not to leave the hotel, which was so nice of the hotel because yeah. There are literally trees and everything everywhere. So yes, it was just kind of a work balance going on top of a things day. So, so, so lucky that they had a room at this hotel last night so that we could unpack and stay for the day and the night. And now we have nowhere to date. So we're gonna have breakfast, go for a walk and then figure out somewhere for yeah. us to book. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> um, the hair mask is hair masking and the sun is out. Um, there's meant to be quite bad wind, but we're gonna go and assess it the looks situation. It okay. It looks good. Mm, it looks so, fine. Let's see. Let's do this. F 
afternoon. I feel way more alive now, way more clean. I feel like we have our acts together a little bit more. I think this was the worst start to a vlog ever, but we were kind of just like in this chaos where we were like, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna get home? And I feel like now we have our flights rebooked, granted for almost a week's time. I feel like we are lucky. We are the lucky ones. There are people stranded in the airport. There are people who are just desperate to get home who can't, like I say, we are the privileged ones who were able to adjust things work-wise or were still kind of trying to adjust things, but it's currently a bank holiday in England. So this is crazy. Flights were canceled due to weather, we think, although we haven't actually had any updates. We're just assuming. And then today, imagine if we did get a flight back, which was kind of the hope, well it wouldn't have gone ahead anyway because they've just actually cancelled all flights through British airspace. So something crazy is going on and I just feel like someone's looking out for us. I was saying to Emily, it's about making the best out of a situation and I feel like this, things happen for a reason, don't they? Like we're safe, we're here, we actually are going to check out of this hotel now and we've actually just booked ourselves a hotel in the center of Palmer for the night because we weren't going to get to tick off Palmer this trip I actually need to get my bikini which was literally in the storm here it is but yes we booked ourselves a hotel in the center of Palmer we're going to enjoy Palmer and go and tick off all the things that we just didn't have the time to do kind of wish we had a car and we could turn this into a full Mallorca road trip but it means that you guys are going to get to see a lot more and we're going to see a lot more so I'm seeing this as a weekend trip that has been extended for whatever reason and we're going to see the opportunity and enjoy and what a privilege to be able to do that so let's check out of here and go to Palmer. on to the next hotel it's an adventure let's do this we have arrived in our new hotel La, 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 la. Do you not think for a city centre hotel there's so much space in here and in the bathroom? Have you been in the bathroom? Yeah. It's so have, long. We have quite a nice big hotel room. We do. We've gone from, as Emily just said, beachfront to city. And we are literally in the heart of Palmer. We are going to explore. Haven't been back here since pre panned and you pre pandy yeah, pre, -band, pre, -pandy. pre -pandy. and we used to really really love coming here as a family and exploring so emily and i have a list of lots of great food places and we just can't wait to go and explore the gorgeous old town and the port and go get some steps in came to check out our hotel it's actually gorgeous We're doing some shopping. It really reminds me of like kind of brandy vibes. That is. It's like the most delicious coconut macaroon ever. So we have found ourselves on an accidental bakery crawl. We just ticked off the first bakery and now I'm just following maps up on the right this way. So that one was really good. It was called Fika, which is actually Swedish, but loads of people recommended it. Well, the name was Fika, the name is Swedish. I feel like maybe the bakery wasn't actually. It was, it was Swedish inspired. Yeah. Swedish inspired. Yeah. That's why they had cardamom buns, which is one of my favorite things. And now we are heading to another one that's apparently the oldest bakery in Parma. I actually found this on TikTok. So Emily and I shared the most delicious cinnamon bun. And then I had kind of like a macaroon, a coconut macaroon. Oh my gosh, a chocolate shop. Well, we have to go in. Seeing as Emily is collecting chocolate on this trip. Wow, oh, these are so interesting. I think it's actually more of a nut shop, you know. Oh no, they have chocolate here. Wow, amazing. This one with milk will be amazing, I think. Such nice dresses. I actually love these bags. Oh my goodness, so this is apparently the oldest 
bakery in Palmer. Super famous with locals. I'm very excited to try this. Look at the boxes, they're so nice. How nice the boxes are. Oh my gosh, I'm at the Florentines. Got some breaded icing sugared deliciousness. We actually thought this had custard in, but I was too scared to ask what I actually wanted. We will head back in the morning. My goodness, this would be the most perfect bridesmaid's dress. But this, I actually need this. I love this vibe. These trousers are so nice. So stunning. Absolutely love this. Love a studio collection. And then you can see Palmer from outside here. How gorgeous. This store is absolutely incredible I love this one and it's kind of like low back it's so nice and this one is on sale so this was really easy and cute to wear with like white trousers this is so beautiful imagine this with like white pants I love this love this coat as well Look at this, I found an April spritz spot with a takeaway spritz stop. How cool is this? And inside, everything is April. Absolutely amazing. It's just like tucked down this little corridor. We're just walking to dinner and we came across it. Look how good this is. It's all just Aperol inside. I think I found the most beautiful church of my life. Wow. I can't believe I just saw that little spritz stop. That was such a cute idea. We're just walking through the most beautiful streets. I feel like we've come away from the kind of chaos and the busyness now. Massimo Dutti, by the way. Dutti, Dutti. Oh my gosh, they had some amazing things. We're gonna go back tomorrow. Saying to my blog that I don't know how I pack so badly. I, I know we one are pair of shorts, <laughs> one top. I know this one daytime dress. I thought it was like a four-day trip, Me and too. I wore my stuff over and over. Gosh, that looks amazing. That really nice. There are some incredible spots here hidden away. Palmer is amazing but i just went to the most beautiful church lit a candle for my nana because my nana would always light candles for other people so i like to light candles for her i did it in italy and then i did it in palmer emily got some gorgeous new items of clothing not we're gonna go back not tomorrow not she was in the church not not was outside outside the i was church. just changing the topic from something <laughs> so morbid and now on a less morbid topic I know we've flipped around topics a lot. We are actually heading over for pizza now. A little bit offended because I feel like we should be having Spanish food, but Emily wants pizza. I'm just craving pizza. Also, talking about flipping <gasps> topics, <gasps> Em does oh, this all the time. Yeah, and she'll talk okay. and then she'll stop and just start saying something else mid sentence as if she's finished the, the other sentence. My brain she has so much going on. Can we just talk about how nice is Ellie? This is so beautiful. Wow. I have so many gorgeous items in here. Ooh, what's this one? This is deep fried mozzarella. Oh my goodness, there's mozzarella inside there. Well, we're gonna have to cut that open. Oh.
evening. We had the most delicious dinner and we've now just popped our comfy clothes on and we are just walking around Palmer. We're just walking around the port. It's so beautiful here. We're far too warm to have our jumpers on. It's crazy, we've gone from storms to insane winds and now it's been bright sunshine again today. So we're actually just walking around just because we like to have a walk after our dinner. And we found this area in the port which is actually hilarious. It's like the weirdest crossing. What do you call it, like stepping stones? has a stepping stone, a stepping stone crossing. And Emily was like, I am not going over there. But we're gonna go over it, we're gonna try it. This is it, and people keep crossing it. And I'm just so scared. Like, as if people are walking across this. A lot of concentration. Guess what? Emily did not do it with me. I will insert a clip of me. That she only got because of me. Because Emily was watching me. <laughs> I would have fallen, honestly. I'm the biggest klutz in the world. It took I'm, a lot more concentration than it I am been. five foot ten with size five feet, okay? <laughs> I am like, you know those like clown dolls that <laughs> rock? Oh that's my gosh, that's me. quite a scary thought. I fall over like five times a week. Matt's just texted me, he's a crying laughing face, he's crying laughing faces because he dared me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me this is the best ice cream in Parma and it looks absolutely amazing. Guys, look at the line for it, it's absolutely huge. Last night was so magical. This is your sign to walk down the port in Palma. It's just so, so, so beautiful. And dinner was amazing. We went to a beautiful Italian restaurant, which was honestly a dream. So now we are just up and out. We're actually heading away from the city today because we did want to do this trip as more of kind of like a beachy kind of retreat. However, seeing as we're in Palma, we may as well enjoy it. There's so much we kind of want to explore here and tick off. So we're actually going to head to a coffee place that we've been recommended. Very excited to try this. And then I think we might try to go back to the bakery because they'd sold out of a lot of stuff yesterday. But there's so many good brunch spots, tapas restaurants, lots of places to take off today. We are back. So as much as we want to take other places off, and we did, we went and got the matcha from a completely different place. The coffee wasn't really strong enough, so gave us a perfect chance to head back to Fika, which is where we went yesterday. And oh my goodness, the coffee is amazing. And I had so many more things in the bakery today. Note to self, don't go at 4 p.m. Get there early because they had so many things. We managed to get an almond croissant. Pano chocolates looked absolutely amazing. So we are very, very happy girls right now. It was a seriously good bakery haul. So you love pasta del natas. And look, this is like a whole shop full of them. Look at them all. Going back to treat myself to some items because apparently it's actually cheaper here to buy these items because it's owned by Zara and they are a Spanish brand. Oh, 
Okay, so got some gorgeous bits. Totally begged Emily because she went in yesterday, saw some gorgeous things. I didn't want to try this one yesterday because it was so hot. Went and tried this one today and actually it worked out 30% cheaper in the UK, which is really good. Comment below, is that a thing? I don't know. We are now back at the port, which is the area where I was doing the stepping stones last night. I'm just about to grab some lunch, which I'm really excited about. I'm so in the mood for some nice, like healthy and also some alioli, obviously. And then we're really close to the ice cream shop that we couldn't get into last night. So hopefully gonna go and grab an ice cream from there because so many of you guys recommended it. very good. The stracciatella actually just tastes like, I don't know, mint? I don't know why. <laughs> it's so weird. It looks amazing. Mm. It literally tastes like mint chocolate. That's so weird. Random. I did get some chocolate sauce, but I accidentally left it in there. Oh. It was very stressful in there. It was very stressful in there. Even with a tiny line. I know. I felt like they were annoyed at me. <laughs> is probably the highest ranking street this place comes up really high for amazing food and then this place fawn loads of people also recommended it to me there's an open bit it's like a hidden secret bar and it's meant to be amazing with like water fountains and stuff in it okay screenshot this come to this street because this is where all the good stuff is okay the ice cream was really good but they gave me mint chocolate chip instead of stracciatella and Honestly, I, I, I like mint chocolate chip. It was very menthol-y. So I preferred the banoffee. We'll have to go back. So it was served from like the silver way to serve ice cream when it's like inside. I don't know what you would call it. It's like inside like a silver pot. And I saw something online that basically said those places where all the ice cream is stuck up, which I actually think they taste amazing, with like Kinder Buenos and stuff sticking out. Apparently, the real ice cream is the ones that are served inside the silver pot. So apparently that gelato was like amazing, the real gelato. And truly, they didn't have to put on a show. It's been ranked so high. The gelato was great, but I just got the wrong flavor. And that, well, I don't know. Maybe it's my fault, maybe it's not. But lunch was great. I definitely did ask for it. But yeah, we are now actually heading. Where are we heading? Oh, we're gonna quickly pop into Hotel Cappuccino because I think I would like to stay here next time I come. It's Cappuccino is amazing. I've been coming to for years to the one at Four Towns. We had a drink there in the other vlog. They do nice snacks. I always go to one in Ibiza just because it's like nice views. But they have an actual hotel in Palma. So I really, really want to see it because the decor is just divine. But yes, I had octopus for my lunch. I had some alioli and then finished it with an ice cream. So now to go and find the hotel cappuccino. going to buy some goodies, thinking maybe some olive oil or maybe some of this salt. Oh my gosh, that's a really good one. I might get them. That's such a nice gift. How nice would this look in the house as well? Yes. Yeah, Matt always says he loves nice salt, so maybe something like that. Just a Spanish mango. Let's go. Into mango, I slipped, I fell. They have this bag. It's a dupe. It's a Gucci dupe. I will link it below. We love to see that. Absolutely obsessed with this top. Yes, you are absolutely gorgeous. He's so cute for autumn. There's a trend, I want everything. He's such a gorgeous bag. Shopping and the wandering around the city is beautiful, but truly hot. So we are doing what we originally came on this trip to do, which is heading back to the ocean. You guys know I love Paris, I love Barcelona, I love London, but I feel like because we live in the city, 
it's time to get back to the ocean. If you watched vlog one, you'll notice that we we're by the sea and we're kind of missing those like hot girl walks by the ocean and watching the sunsets. So we've had an amazing kind of 24 hours in Palma. There's a lot of restaurants that if you message me on Instagram or I'll maybe do a QA, and a I'll write down all of the top restaurants because honestly, we just didn't really have the time to go to them. But we're now heading over to a hotel that we've booked in Portals, which we are so excited about because we are gonna literally run into the ocean. We are both feeling very hot. We got some new purchases, but ready to go to the next hotel. Sleep on things run dry on melody. We've arrived at the new hotel from Palma to Portals. This is one of the places that I used to come to all the time growing up and in the first vlog we actually came here one evening. We found this hotel very, very, very last minute. We actually booked it at midnight last night and they did have a terrace room, but the terrace room sold out. I have to say, going from a city centre apartment with no window to a sea view feels so special. So because we've been in the city all day, we are going to head down and just take in the ocean breeze. We are feeling so grateful and so lucky. Have just hand washed all of my things, a little bit of reality for you there just because everything in the bag was yeah not feeling the best so that's hand wash that's drying and then we are gonna head down a little hand wash going on here this concrete and I should call you see what you want to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy don't think that much probably here I am alone so we went for a swim in the sea in Portals, which is absolutely gorgeous and now just ready for dinner emily and i are both onto our outfit repeating which there's nothing wrong with that by the way however obviously we're only meant to be here for a few nights and we've now like doubled the length of the trip so it's quite fun we get to wear our gorgeous outfits again the room is lovely, we're feeling refreshed, we're feeling very lucky. Let's go for dinner. Tonight we're actually heading for dinner at a place that I used to go all the time growing up, so I do hope it's as good as it used to be, otherwise I have sold Emily a complete lie. <laughs> Good morning, Flanagan. Oh my goodness. It was just as good as I remember. It was so good. We are up not bright and early. The plan was to be up bright and early, seize the day, but you know, said Ivy, we were very, very tired girls. So we just headed to a spot that we found on Instagram called Coco's Deli. I was just saying, I really wish I pedestrianised these streets. This is also the first time we've done this this holiday, though. We've been up and out early. We have been day. up and I think in the, the city gym killed us. early. I think literally being city girls was maybe, not for us. Maybe we need to move to the countryside in England. Mm. Walking around a city in the heat. What's that phrase? Mad dog. Only a mad dog and an English man get out in the midday heat. I love that. That's so what my funny. dad used to say. So we're actually just going to check out, we're doing a beach recce now. Check out a little beach in Portals because there's a whole cove with so many different beaches. Going to a different one than we went to yesterday. The one that we swam in yesterday was so beautiful and so calm and I feel like this one's gonna be even better. Spot was so us. I know, it was like a vegan, healthy deli. Look at the Snickers bar. <gasps> Forever Roche. This is so exciting. We got so many goodies. We got little protein bites. And this is our view for breakfast and our little hike. It's time to enjoy this. Good evening, we are 
already we have had the most amazing day feeling so grateful we found the cutest beach <laughs> can like i tell them my favorite part oh what? I was I'm, I'm so traumatized. I haven't. I was going to put my camera out, but I thought no. no you shouldn't have. No, you yeah. didn't. She was so close. No, to tears. we need to watch it back. She was so close to tears. Okay, so we ha we were having a great day. No, still not. We found the most amazing beach, really close to our hotel, and this hotel's family run, which makes it even more special. Yeah, we have so much update the morning. Yeah, I just feel like. Yes, we're not meant to be here, but fate has made us be here. I extend the trip and it meant that we got to book a family hotel. So at least all of the kinds of flights mean that the family hotel is making more money, which makes me very happy. So we wander down to this gorgeous hidden beach. We have Coco's Deli brownies. We're having the best time. I have my hair in a, in a bun, a big bun, because we've been for a lovely beach swim. Mm -hmm. We're feeling salty. Mine was in a plait, just in case. And it was in a plait. We walk, we walk home. A delicious walk home. I actually said to Emily at one point, I love my life, I'm so happy. So this is why I don't need therapy. <laughs> I you guys if you need therapy, you should go therapy. I and said I, that's what I did say in response. I said this is meditative yeah, therapy for me. Yeah. That's what I said. It's like my meditation, walking in fresh air, feeling salty, feeling a little bit crispy, you know, that kind of vibe. Anyway, we get home. The bun's still on my head, I sit and I, I edit a YouTube video. This is a YouTube video for a few minutes. Get in the shower, I take my bun out. I feel something in my butt. I think, what is that? It was like maybe like a hard rock or something. I was watching. Oh no, it was a full adult sized cockroach. <laughs> I screamed. It was so funny. I felt so awful for you. You should have vlogged because I wouldn't have minded, you but I was so screaming. Close to because I feel violated. It's like when I got bit by bed bugs. It's violation. Well, anyway, we called him Derek. Derek. And put glass over Derek and then washed him. And then hair. you know what? I felt mean because I was kind of like was suffocating him. Oh well, he's off the balcony. I had to Google. <laughs> through the it fell off the If you checked my Google search, there was one that we searched just not in Puerto Portal. Oh so no, you no, 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 you? no. Yes, we can. So <laughs> I, I feel like I've told you on I was this by the same girl. And we were trying to figure out back in London, like where do you meet someone? Because I'm refusing to go on dating apps. And I went on his phone to search something up and her la last Google search was, where do men hang out? <laughs> just that, nothing else, no and of context. Just for a complete difference of scenery today, my Google search then suddenly changed to, can cockroaches lay eggs in your hair? Yeah. So on that note, we're ready for dinner. The hair is washed. I still feel like there might be eggs in my hair. I'm going to vomit everywhere. Oh. <laughs> but we are heading to, I don't know how to pronounce what we're heading to. Camp de Mar. Camp de Mar. Um, which is meant to be one of the most beautiful parts of the island. We're in a taxi. We thought YOLO. Let's just enjoy it. We're it's about 15 minutes away from our hotel. Let's hope we can get back. We're going to try and get a reservation in a super famous restaurant. So let's hope we can because it's literally hidden. Well, it's not hidden, but it's like in the middle of the ocean. So pray for us. This is a gorgeous little area that we found. How stunning. What was it? <gasps> Just, oh my god, look at that top! <gasps> These are so sweet! <laughs> this is where we're trying to go. Pray for us. We got a table, we got a sangria, and obviously some alioli. Chalky moose with the chalky moose queen. But you are. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm a bit nervous actually. I'm not a big sprinkles girl. Oh, I love a sprinkle. <laughs> Stephen, I love a sprinkle. <laughs> We're going delirious at this stage. <laughs> Throw your time. Okay, let's try it. Oh, is that what we're doing? Exciting, exciting. Fresh as a summer breeze. Was this before or after you dropped Ali Oli all over your chest? Honestly, something. It's giving chest. I broke some bread apart and there was Ali Oli on it and it went all over me. But did you have a cockroach in your butt? No, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Do 
dinner was amazing, but we we had you know it was good, but Flanagan was better. We had a questionable way Beautiful that. venue. Sorry, look at that venue. We're just literally having a moment watching this. The thing is though, I think it would be just as special to come and sit with a bag of crisps and aioli on the beach. It's actually really lovely to sit here and watch it. So the fish was amazing and the tuna to oh, and guacamole was amazing. Ever. Yeah. The bread was questionable. And then the other waiter came over and wanted to teach M salsa dance. Yeah. Like, oh, this is the vibe. I just a heads up, if you do go, I hope you get luckier and you get the lovely salsa dancing dad and salsa dancing man. But we're just watching the sunset. Absolutely beautiful, and I think we might go get some froyo from somewhere. We're back, and this is probably the earliest night we've been back. It's like half past ten, and actually, most of the restaurants in Spain they don't open till half past eight. So we haven't been getting back to like midnight, and we haven't been going to bed till like one a.m., which is kind of crazy. So we're back, and we got to sit there earlier tonight. Um, I have a hair mask on, which is so needed. I'm, I'm having to wash my hair again after the cockroach gate. And I just want to show you the things I've been using because when I did wash my hair, you'll have seen the difference of me from the start of this vlog to like when I actually wash my hair, when I, the start of the vlog to like the middle of the vlog. This is a mask that honestly, I'm going to link it below because I couldn't find it and I want to buy myself more of this. This is the Chris Appleton and Color Wow Money Mask. It's amazing, I'm gonna buy myself a big tub of it. Yeah, it's the blue one, but I couldn't find it online anywhere when I ran out, and now I have a travel version of it. It's so good. But I've just finished it, look at us, with our matching little cosmetic cases. I love that. And then, da -da -da, this I've been popping in my hair. I actually left this in my hair completely and slept in this. I'm not gonna sleep in it tonight, although I wish I could, just because we're getting up for the sunrise, so I do need to dry my hair before bed. And then we actually bought these because we realized that the shampoo in the hotel wasn't that great for our hair. So we bought these, I'll link them below again. They have been amazing. Both of us are just like, oh my goodness, we are obsessed with our hair. It just got rid of all of the frizz, so that's what I've been doing. I suffer with very bad holiday hair, frizzy hair, and today I had cockroach hair. So time to sort that out. <laughs> Is that, are you laughing at me? I need to take my makeup off. I did an, an Instagram story today about this eye serum. It's amazing, and the reason it's so good is it's got caffeine in it if you're tired, but look at this. <gasps> if you put this in a fridge, little hack, it's so cool. Like, it has caffeine in, so like puffy, tired eyes, which I have all the time, so we'll definitely be using that before bed. Um, but it was £10. I don't know when the £10 ends, but when this vlog's live, hopefully it's still £10, and I will link it below. Molly May was using the range the other day, so don't just take my word for it. Right, I'm going to wash the hair out. Go to bed, and we are going to be up for the sunrise in the morning. Let's do this. Good night. Good morning. We just walked from like over there, and we come up this rock and look at this view. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, so amazing Magical. to wake up to this. It's a dream, a dream is a wish mm -hmm. your heart makes. When everyone else is sleeping, we are up here. You should never miss a sunrise really. It's just so special up here. So we walked from our hotel and this beach is just phenomenal. It's just literally by Portel's Port but a little bit further around. The most beautiful little hike up here and wow, what do they say? The hardest climb is worth the view. We are walking up here to see another pretty amazing viewpoint.
hello from a very sun-swept M and M. <laughs> I hope my camera is working because honestly, there's a lot of sand trapped in this. But we have spent the day back by the beach, just honestly, truly enjoying. We had coconuts and we had our lunch, which we got from a gorgeous little supermarket up at the top. Now we're heading for kind of like an early dinner because pre-flight meal. Pre meal if our flight goes ahead which hopefully it does this time um we basically have been going to this spot called coco's deli we went again this morning we got a brownie for our walk we got a matcha honestly we're obsessed because it's like a health food cafe so we're heading back for a very early dinner slash second lunch and we cannot wait although you had to literally drag us away from from the sea you know our flights at the exact time that we're going to be ravenous as soon as it takes off so we're going to have to take some brownies with no, us we will we're going to stock up and then we're going to take some brownies and bits with us on the flight we also need to go back to the supermarket we need to go back to the supermarket as well although i'm toying with the idea of going for one just one last seed it before i get on the flight soy milk beetroot latte it looks amazing ice Delicious. Good, and let me guess, you got a cortado? I did, but have you tried the beetroot um, like latte from Grind? No, I haven't actually. It's amazing. Oh, that's I so always good. get the matcha. That's refreshing, mm. isn't it? So this is lunch. We've got the acai bowl, which is like a nutty one. We've got peanut butter, some cashews, a feta wrap with chicken, which looks amazing and then a beef burger with some fries. And just like that, I am home. The state of the house behind me just shows how chaotic today has been. I literally landed so late, grateful to be safe though, and put on the dishwasher, the washing machine, everything. It's all happening, but I'm home. I had the most amazing trip. It was so special and even more special that we got to extend. I always think that life has a plan. There's a reason for these things happening and we definitely felt like someone was watching over us because there were just so many chaotic things that happened and we feel so grateful to be safe and well. We really did have the most amazing trip. I'm gonna save like a little highlight on my Instagram because honestly, there's so many good spots that we went to, but there's also so many spots that I need to go back to. I was saying to Matt, we have to have to have to come back together i also bought him some goodies which i'll pop on screen now home to gift so matt is very happy and of course my washing is on already opened his favorite oreos and these ones and we already ate a bag of these and i got these mini milkers and then i got loads of fanta limon and i should have got the yellow one really but i think it needed refrigerating alioli I know, I did also get him some coffee actually. This is from the first hotel we stayed in. They have this coffee shop inside and this is actually roasted in Barcelona and it's a really strong roast. So I always try to bring my coffee beans back from wherever I am. It was so nice going back to somewhere kind of like as more of an adult where I grew up going there. And I can't wait to go back and explore Palma properly with a few more days, but maybe off season when it's not so warm. I'm just so excited to go and tick off some of the restaurants because honestly, I've been given such a good list. So all in all, the dreamiest trip for me is super grateful. If you made it this far, comment below with your favorite Spanish food. Mine is obviously alioli and everything I mentioned will be linked below. So thank you so, so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.